hey guys welcome back so today sorry if i sound really like nasally and just coughing and it's not everywhere but i have had a pretty bad cold the last couple of days um well since monday really it's been like four days now um today's the first day i'm actually feeling human anyway this morning i was on instagram and i was looking at it was addicted to addicted to bargains her insta stories and she showed that spotlight had a few christmas things out so i decided to come down to my spotlight leave my house put some actual clothes on rather than pajamas and um go check out the christmas stuff so i've just been in i filmed pretty much every shelf that was there besides one little one that just had like tiny little bows on it so i'll insert that footage now so you can see You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can't get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much How can I tell you what I wanna do? I never needed you to give me thanks I never needed gifts or diamond rings All I ever need, I need, I buy anything from the Christmas range I did buy one Halloween thing and then um, a different homewares item which I'll show you when I get home but I'm just gonna pop over and have a look in I think Big W because I'm pretty sure they put their Halloween stuff out pretty early so it should be there by now Australia we don't really I mean I know in the US and everything there seems to be Halloween and um, Christmas stuff even out in pretty much all the stores at this point but um, yeah in Australia they don't really do that so I'm gonna go have a look at Big W and see if they do have anything and if they do I will film it and show you okay so I'm back home now um, can you see Owen he's fallen asleep <laughs> Hang on, if I put this down <laughs> he fell asleep in the in the pram actually when I was shopping that's never ever happened ever before I don't think since he was like a tiny newborn, he just does not fall asleep in the pram. Um, he falls asleep in the car sometimes, but never the pram. But anyway, I'm back home now. Big W was a bust. There was no Halloween stuff. They had sort of, in their seasonal section, they just had like gardening and that kind of thing. Because I suppose it is spring now, so <laughs> that makes sense. But um, yeah, there was nothing for me to film. I didn't really buy anything in Spotlight either, but I thought I would show you what I did buy. I mean like three things here so yeah I'm sitting in my driveway at home because I need to pick Taylor up from school in about 15 minutes but it was too early to go and sit in the car park at school but then it's too late for me to go inside and do anything inside so I thought I'll just sit in the car Owen can rest for a couple of minutes and I'll show you what I got from Spotlight so let me get the receipt I want to make sure this is the only thing I got that was seasonal this is a Halloween decoration it's the burlap banner it was only three dollars and it just says trick or treat. It's got a spider on it. And I just thought it was really cute. I'll probably hang this um, inside somewhere during the, like, over the next few weeks. And then on actual Halloween night, I'll probably put it outside so that the kids can see that we are a trick or treat friendly house. In Australia, um, Halloween, like trick or treating, is. A there's a lot of debate about it um a lot of people love it but m i would say probably more people um really don't like halloween in australia because they feel like it's an american holiday and we shouldn't be celebrating it here i disagree with that i love halloween i love i love any holiday really let's be honest but um <laughs> they um 
So I'm all for it. And I understand their argument, but I disagree completely. I just... I feel like there's no harm in it. Like, I don't know what the problem is about... Whatever. But there's not a lot... Like, there's not a lot of places or streets where people actually get into the whole trick-or-treating thing. Like, no one really decorates the front garden or... Um, anything like that we go to a housing estate which um like a private housing estate and do our trick-or-treating there because there's all footpaths and it's well lit um and uh, probably about half the houses in there do participate and they do set up all their decorations and um they get really into it so we go there but on our street i think there's a couple of houses that enjoy it but most places don't i think the shire so like the city council um they provide like flyers so that you can put them on your front door if you don't want to participate in halloween trick-or-treating um so kids won't knock on your door or anything which <laughs> like i don't know i love it so i think they're party creepers but anyway the other thing i got from spotlight i got this power board um for my christmas tree because i always have to plug in like i've got I don't know how many I usually have a few different sets of lights and then I have to like climb around to the wall behind to um, plug them and stuff every night and then this is the main thing I got I'm not gonna be able to show you in the car but it's a crate and it's got these little wire or mesh sides which is really cute it was originally $30 but because it's got a little bit damaged somewhere that I can't remember now where is it like one of the sides see this bit coming undone um it was that marked down to $15 so do you know what? I can just hot glue that like that's not a problem at all there's a couple there there's a bit of damage but it's fine um I'm thinking I might use this as a Christmas tree base I don't know and I'm thinking I'll probably stain the wood because I do I do not mind the light wood but I feel like it's going to clash with some of the other woods that I have in my house so I'm probably going to stain it with just the wood stain that I use for most things so yeah um another thing that I got when I went in to the shopping centre um, I went to their bath and table just specific, specifically to grab this candle. It's the sandalwood and clove. And this, I think, is my third one. I have got a couple of back hearts because I absolutely frigging love this scent. It's amazing. Um, I think about a year and a half ago, yeah, it was my birthday last year. I went to Pottery Barn and I bought this candle, which was on clearance. So um, it didn't have like a label. It wasn't in a box or anything. And whatever it was, I loved the scent of that candle. Um, I burnt it really quickly because I just burned it all the time because I loved it. And then um, I haven't been able to find it since. I didn't know what it was. Um, I didn't know what the actual scent was. I don't know what it was in the scent that drew me to it either, like a, the specific ingredient. Um, so I've been going to candle shops for the past year and a half trying to figure it out. I've been back to Pottery Barn. They had nothing similar. Um, didn't know what I was talking about either. Um, and then finally, a couple months ago, I went to Bed Bath & Table and I smelled this candle and I was like, oh, it's the clove. <laughs> it's the clove that I like. Um, they don't usually carry this candle, I don't think. It was a um, limited release, but they've, they've still got it. So I've bought a couple. So I've got a couple of backups. It's, I was going like, to give that to you to smell just then. <laughs> but um, oh, it's so good. I absolutely love it. It's a two-wick candle um, and they last pretty well and the scent throw is pretty good. So I just bear in mind, I've got one burning. Well, I don't know one burning. I've got one set up to burn at home at the moment. So I might show you that a bit later after I pick up Taylor. Uh, I'm actually going to show you a few of the other Halloween-y kind of decorations that I've bought already because I've bought a couple of things. Um, and because they're things that I think, I think one of the stores I ordered from America and then one was from eBay. So they take a while to come through. So I'm going to show you them today so that you've got plenty of time to order them if you're in Australia and you want to. Um, Cause yeah, it can take mm, four to six weeks and we're not that far away from Halloween as well. Um, but yeah, I think, what time is it? It's still a little bit too early to go pick up Taylor. So I might just sit here in the car for a minute and just enjoy the silence while I can because it's about to go crazy once Taylor gets home. Um, but yeah, I'll come back and talk to you in a minute when I picked up Taylor. So this is the candle I was talking about. This is the one that I already had. Uh, but I've just got it set up here next to my kitchen sink. Um, and then these are just the wick trimmers from Dusk. And then I have this is my um, spray bottle with my cleaning vinegar in it. So this is just a little um, amber bottle from Target. I think it was only about $3, which is really cool. I really like it. I think it looks nice there. Okay, and then in terms of the Halloween stuff I've already bought, where is it? <laughs> so these are the pumpkins that I bought. Don't mind the couch not being there. I've moved over there um, next to the fire for now, but um, usually the couch is there. That's my entry sort of area. Um, yeah, I got these three little pumpkins from, I think it's HalloweenCostumes.com. 
and they ship to Australia and it's quite a reasonable shipping fee. It's about, I think I paid about $20 for the shipping, which honestly, if you live in Australia, you might even pay $20 to ship within Australia. So to come from internationally, um, I thought that was really good. Um, so I'm pretty sure the two smaller ones were seven or eight dollars. I feel like they're under 10. And I think that one was maybe around the $20 mark. I could be wrong. I'll put the, um, the links in the description box below and I'll try and put the prices on the screen or something somewhere as well. But they are foam pumpkins, so they're really, really lightweight. They are super glittery and super sparkly. So hopefully you can see just how glittery and sparkly that is. They are absolutely gorgeous. And then from that same store, from that same store, I also got this taller pumpkin. Obviously, he doesn't really go with my other decor, um, being that it's black and gold. But I really liked the shape of this pumpkin. And this one, again, I feel like it was about $12. It was really quite inexpensive compared to the ones that you can get sort of in Australia, which you don't even get much of a range, <laughs> to be honest, here in Australia. Um, the only other pumpkin I found that looked similar to this was a Pottery Barn, and it was beautiful, but it was $50 for the actual pumpkin itself, and then I'm pretty sure the shipping for that one was at least $20 as well, so I figured I'd get all of these <laughs> for the price of the one from Pottery Barn. But anyway, what I'm going to do is paint the base of this one, or the whole like, the pumpkin, with um, white chalk paint, and then I'm going to just spray paint this little stalk on the top gold so it goes with the rest of my decor and then I grabbed this candle from dusk this wasn't from um, a Halloween collection or anything specifically it was just this apothecary secrets um, line so there's about four different scents in this line I only really liked the velvet tobacco scent and I liked the fact that it looked quite Halloween-y, um, be that it's black and then with this cork in there, I just thought it yeah, really looked like a Halloween candle. So that'll be going here. It's just sitting on a couple of coasters from um, Kmart to, you know, heighten it a little bit. This is on the pumpkins that I had from Dusk last year. I spoke to, this is Taylor's grass tray. <laughs> um, I spoke to the lady at Dusk the other day and she said they were doing a lot of repeat items this year. Nothing was out yet. Um, besides that candle I just showed you but yeah she said that they had seen the collection and that it was you know there was quite a few things that were similar from last year so you might end up finding something really similar to this leave it down there for now because it's all rainy outside and I can't be bothered going down there to be honest but I'll link it down below in case you are looking for something and you like the one that I've got um and then I'll show it properly in my Halloween tour so more my Halloween house tour so you'll see what it looks like um but yeah I hope you've been have I hope you have enjoyed this vlog um and enjoy that little taste of Christmas that we had at Spotlight there um but you know my Christmas content is going to start pretty soon and if I'm being honest I've already placed two orders at kosh.com so Hopefully those things come soon and then I will start with my Christmas hauls because you might as well start early. I don't know if I'm going to go as crazy this year as I did last year, but I mean, there's always going to be things that I want to buy at Christmas time. So yeah, I'll show you, I'll show those to you as they come in. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Boy, I don't need that much, need that much. How can I tell you